welcome to Roving Report, a program that looks at the Northeast in all its dimension and brings you the changing mood and tenor of the region in all its colors. I'm your host, Lumpen Vashum, and the highlights of today's program are Situation returns to normal in violence hit borough areas of Assam. Manipuri boy creates history by winning two gold medals at a badminton tournament in Denmark. Rural women in Tripura take up doll making to earn a livelihood. And young models in Manipur showcase their talent at Manhunt 2014. Security remains tight in Boroland Territorial Autonomous District BTAD in Assam after violence claimed 36 lives. A special investigation team from the centre is probing the incident and efforts are underway to resettle the affected families. We have a report. The death toll in the mayhem unleashed by militants in Boroland Territorial Area Districts has reached 36. The curfew, which was imposed on May 2, has been relaxed in Baksa, Kokrajhar and Chirang districts as no fresh violence was reported. The Assam government blamed Songbijit faction of the National Democratic Front of Bodoland for killing 36 people, all migrant Muslims. The centre has sent a team of National Investigation Agency to probe the matter and has deployed additional forces to maintain peace and calm. Nothing new has happened. Okay. So like how do I mean the security? It's under control. Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi visited the violence hit Kokrajhar district and assured justice to the victims. There are some people who are interested to create uh, disturbance in the state also. So we have to be vigilant also. And we are taking all the state. And more forces are coming also. And we are also going to uh, what you call recruit more, recruit uh, deploy more the, even the home guards also in different places so that situation uh, comes not only normal it should be it should restore confidence among the minds of those area people in assam organized protests to call for an end to the ongoing ethnic massacre in Bodoland territorial area district the members of krishak mukti sangram samiti and all assam students union call for strong action against those responsible for the violence me anabaru admi ko nanbaru admi ko me ye ye aban karta ho appeal karta ho ki aap log bhi itna tense mat ho hariye ho mat hijiye tense hone se kam nahi hoga tense hone se hum log ka zyada khati hoga zyada loss ho jayega hum log class mein jaane se zyada loss ho jayega isliye me Bodo or non Bodo people, BTAD area ka Assam ka people ko me aban karta hon, me appeal karta hon ki pura class ban ki jiye, ham log ek saath ho ke andul an karke ye class ban karna ke liye ham log kam karna ta hiye tha. A senior meet was also called at Guwahati Press Club, where people from various walks of life participated and condemned the killings. They also called for restoration of peace in the BTAD area. Various organizations have asked the people in the BTAD to maintain calm and restore peace. People feel that illegal arms in the BTAD area are one of the main reasons for serious violence there. Discuss that is how to maintain peace. At this stage, peace is the main thing that requires that. So, Government also should take steps to ensure security and safety of the people and condemn the extremist organization also. The extremist organization stop violence and government should take proper action against the extremist section. People in Assam have suffered decades of militancy-led violence which continues till date. Ethnic violence perpetrated by militants has caused a lot of damage to the state.
Today we meet Maisna Meiraba Luang from Manipur who has created history by becoming the first Manipuri badminton player to win two medals at a championship held in Denmark recently. 13-year-old Maisna Meiraba Luang has made India proud. A budding player from Imphal West District in Manipur, Meiraba recently won two international and one national championship in badminton. Born to Mesnam Ramesh Lovang and Ratna Devi, Meraba is the only international badminton player from Manipur. He is currently studying in class 8. I really like when I was in childhood, I used to play in, the, in my home, so I, I think that I should play badminton. I got inspired by my father when I was 3 years. Yeah. In the recently held Eros Cup Youth International Badminton Tournament 2014 in Denmark, Miraba backed championship medals in both single and double events. He also won at the 59th School National Badminton Championship India that was held at Agra in Uttar Pradesh. Miraba's father has high hopes from his son. But <laughs> Meraba has won 16 medals in under 13 and under 15 age categories. He is also the youngest recipient of the Olympic Gold Quest Scholarship from the Northeast in his age category. Before, before I, I, when I start, I used to nervous when I play outside because it was too much people mm -hmm. and the face is not alike. Mm -hmm. And in South Muscara, I haven't played in Manipur, so uh, I got experience for that and I, you, I can interact with people many more without even nervous. And I used to do some kind of means psychology into the person, means experience psychology while playing in the court, making him think that I'm too strong, I'm too... And now present things, I can play whenever I want, even there's no crowd or crowd. Miraba has once again proved that youth from the Northeast are second to none. His success is a source of inspiration for the youth of the region. Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. The three-day-long Golden Jubilee celebration of the 41 sub-area was recently held at the Jorhat military station in Lichubari. The 41 sub-area is an important army formation responsible for administrative and logistic support in the Northeast region. On the second day, a multi-activity display was organized at the newly constructed Jorhat Stadium for the general public to witness the spirit of adventure of the Indian Army. Thousands of spectators from the district thronged the stadium to witness the different events like the dog show by Assam Rifles, Aero Modeling and Trick Mule Team from Shillong, the tornadoes from Bangalore and breathtaking fly past and landing of the paramotors. The military band from Shillong was a major attraction. The Nagaland SSA Teacher Association members from the Dimapur unit joined the other units of the various districts in Nagaland in a protest outside the district education office against the non-payment of salaries. The decision for the nine-day-long protest was taken due to the repeated failure of the state government and its implementing agencies to fulfill the demands of the SSA teachers in the state. The NSSATA members have been agitating against the non-release of their pending salaries since November 2013. 
constant efforts are being made to improve the life of people with disabilities. In Jorhat, the World Vision India Group recently organized an awareness campaign as part of the Global Action Week for Education with special emphasis on inclusive education for children with disabilities. Take a look. India has around 12 million children living with disabilities. These children often face a variety of problems in getting equal access to various facilities, especially education. In order to address these issues, World Vision India, in collaboration with many partners across India, is observing Global Action Week for Education with special focus on inclusive education for children with disabilities. As a part of the program, an awareness campaign was organized in Jorhat's Basbari area recently. The day-long event was attended by many disabled children and parents. Children with, dis uh, with disability, they are uh, representing from 18 states in India. In, they had a, a meeting in New Delhi just recently and they have uh, come out with 15 charter of demands. So during this campaign, they want to present this uh, to the government officials in the regional level state level and uh, national level to pick it up for implementation. Several students of the Bosco Institute performed a play to encourage people to give equal treatment and stop discrimination against differently able people. This campaign also gives a chance to the children to put forward their concerns and demands in a charter of demands to various policy makers at different levels. Equal access to education and better facilities will enable these children to realize their true potential. Militant outfits in the Northeast continue to target innocent civilians and try to spread terror through violent attacks. Recently, in Manipur, a grenade blast at a stone crushing factory injured four women laborers. A report. In the early hours of 5th May, a grenade planted at a stone crusher located at Tangjeng in Thobal Kiam Lekai exploded, leaving four women laborers injured. The blast took place when six of the workers had finished loading stones into the stone crusher. The injured were immediately rushed to RIMS. While one of them is in critical condition, the remaining three sustained minor injuries. เมสินมาตรฐานนุ่งเจียฮับเป็นเมฮับเราก็คุยในมาค่าแต่คุยตัวคุยมาค่าแต่เลยเยบ้าอาทิตย์ตัวคุยตัวเลยเยนะคุ
most of her students are unemployed housewives who are now able to supplement their family income by utilizing their leisure time. Shukla and her group recently organized an exhibition of their handmade dolls and artificial flowers at the Agartala city center. এটা স্টুডেন্টরা উৎসাহের জন্যই বিশেষ করে তারা বানানো জিনিস যদি বিক্রি হয় তাহলে তারা আরো উৎসাহ পাবে হুম বিক্রি করার একটা প্রচেষ্টা করবে তাদের টেনে আনার জন্যই আমার এই প্রচেষ্টা এই প্রশিক্ষণও নিয়েছে নতুন তারা সব আরো অনেক মেয়েরা যদি দেখে শিখে এবং যে এইসব কাজ করে পয়সা রোজগার করা যায় এবং মানসিক একটা তৃপ্তি পাওয়া যায় এটা বুঝতে পারবে সেই জন্যই আমার এই উদ্দেশ্য এক মাস হচ্ছে এটা শিখছি আমার কাছে ভালো লাগছে শিক্ষা তারপরে রোজগার হইব বা অবসর সময় এটাই কাজটা করি বিভিন্ন রকমের পুতুলে তৈরি করছি এক মাসের মধ্যে The group has participated in various fairs across the country including the International Trade Fair in New Delhi. These cloth dolls are in high demand not only in the state but also outside. They depict different tribes, art and culture of Northeast India, classical and folk dances, gods and costumes from India as well as other nations. Creative arts art theke এই পুতুল বানানো ফুল বানানো এইসব নানান ধরনের কাজ শেখানো হয়েছে আমরা পঁচিশ দিন ট্রেনিং নিয়েছি নিজেরা স্বনির্ভর হলাম বরের রোজগারের পাশাপাশি আমরা কিছু কিছু রোজগার করতে পারি নিজেরা আর শিখলাম একটা হাতের কাজ নিজের ইয়ে বাড়লো ওটা A number of women in the northeastern states are taking interest in such crafts and are making use of their creativity to earn a livelihood. Fashion designers and models from the Northeast have made a mark for themselves. There is tremendous scope for the growth of fashion industry in Manipur as the rich traditional motifs can be transformed into globally attractive designs. Recently, Manhunt 2014, a mega talent search event and fashion parade was held in the state to provide a platform to the youth to showcase their talent. Take a look. Models from Manipur looked stunning in traditional as well as modern dresses as they walked the ramp at the Manhunt 2014 contest. Altogether, 32 models from all the districts took part in the contest that aims to promote harmony amongst the ethnic people of Manipur and encourage the youth to lead a healthy life. The event was organized by the Research and Self-Employed Academy of Creative Arts in Aharia and Fashion. Later, the winner received a cash prize of 30,000 rupees and the subtitle winner received a cash of 7,000 rupees. When I participate, I feel a little bit of quality, like education, moral, character and health. I participate in this event. And we have a traditional dress. I focus on it. We have a traditional dress. मणिपुरी ट्रेडिशन ड्रेस है वो डे बाय डे वो लॉस हो रहा है हम लोग के इसलिए इस मेहनत में टोटली फुल्ली वो ट्रेडिशन ड्रेस दिखाएगा उसमें और कंपटीशन भी है डिजाइनर राउंड ट्रेडिशन ड्रेस में और और हम लोग के जो हैंडलूम में हैंडलूम को थोड़ा प्रमोट करने के लिए किया है आई पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस कंपटीशन बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट लिव ऑफ आवर ट्रेडिशनल अटायर एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शोकेस दिडन टेलेट विच 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 जस्ट हिडन डिसाइड मी सो दिस रीजन वाई आई पार्टिसिपेट Today, the fashion industry is taking huge strides forward in Manipur. One can find markets bustling with customers who want to buy trendy clothes. It provides a suitable environment for the growth of the fashion industry in the state. No surprise then that a number of youth have opted for modeling and fashion designing as a career in Manipur. <laughs> कोई निशा चाब यादे अदि मैत मैं मसक फजगदी है मसा की फिभम से ड्रेस नई चलने लमी कहीं कानून थीक चरि मथंत अखोई लम से ड्रेस कई चलगे कई सेटके कई तौ है अखोद क्वेशन तो हंब लाइम The country's northeastern region is filled with abundance of talent in modeling and fashion designing. and events like these will definitely open new vistas for the talented youth of the region.
with that, we have come to the end of this episode of Roving Report. I'm your host, Limpim, signing off. Do send in your feedback and suggestions to roving at ANIN.com. Goodbye and see you next week.